Hello, everyone. I'm Lou from the Trend Ultrasound Lab. Today, I want to share with you our recent work in developing a neural navigation guided sonobiopsy device. Fox ultrasound enabled liquid biopsy or sonobiopsy is an emerging technique for the non invasive and spatial temporally controlled diagnosis of brain cancer by inducing blood brain barrier or disruption to release brain tumor specific biomarkers into the blood circulation. Previously, our group have demonstrated the feasibility, efficacy, and safety of sonobiopsy using MRI-guided fast systems. MRI-guided fast systems provide high accuracy in targeting the brain, but are very expensive, which limits the broad clinical adoption of sonobiopsy. On the other hand, neuronavigation-guided fast systems are affordable and flexible, which have been used in clinical trials for fast-mediated drug deliveries. In this study, we developed a low-cost and easy-to-use neuronavigation-guided sonobiopsy device and evaluated its targeting accuracy in a water tank using hydrofoam, its performance in BB disruption in vivo using a pig model, and its feasibility in targeting glioblastoma tumors in patients using numerical simulations by the K-Wave 2 box. We first evaluated the targeting accuracy of our neural navigation guided sonar biopsy device in a water tank. The location of fast transducer geometrical focus was registered to the brainside neural navigation system by inserting the transducer with the help of a 3D printed cap to the pin on the registration block provided by the manufacturer. Relative locations of the transducer was tracked by the optical tracker attached to it. Then the transducer was moved to the user-defined target location inside a CT scan water tank. A hydrophone scan was performed around the target location to generate the readouts for the targeting accuracy evaluation. Targeting accuracy was evaluated with its offset of a beam accentuate on the XY direction scan and on the time of arrival from the ROS ultrasound signal acquired at the geometrical focus. The data show that the mean targeting accuracy is 1.7 millimeter, which demonstrates our neural navigation guided sonar biopsy device is accurate and precise in water tank. After showing the accuracy and precision of the device, we went on to test it in vivo in healthy pig models. The optical trackers are placed on the side of the pig and on, on the top of their fast transducer. Gadolinium was injected to the pig intravenously and the local extravasation of gadolinium due to the blood brain barrier opening induced by the fuzz plus micro bubbles on occasion in the T1-weighted images was used to evaluate it, the targeting accuracy in vivo. The average targeting accuracy in PIG between the centroid of localized enhancement on the T1-weighted MI images was 3.3 millimeter. The results demonstrated the accurate and precise targeting in the XY directions. Our device demonstrated a plus Z direction bias in the targeting accuracy, which we hypothesize is to be contributed by the differential BB opening threshold on different parts of the brain. So far, we've demonstrated the ability of the system to perform sonar biopsy with good accuracy and precision. We then want to translate the system into clinical trials. To show the feasibility of our system targeting at tumor locations in GBM patients, we recruited 54 clinically diagnosed GBM patients and acquired their CT and MI images. Their CT and T1-weighted MI images of the patients were co-registered and 3D acoustic transcranial focus ultrasound simulations were performed to assess the extent of skull-induced beam aberration effects. Target locations were selected at GBM tumor locations identified by two patients' MRI images. The simulation results showed that the average transcranial targeting offset is two millimeter laterally and five millimeter axially, which is much smaller than average GBM tumor dimensions in the cohort, indicating that our sonobiopsy device can be used to target GBM tumors in patients. Furthermore, statistical analysis show no correlation between age, sex, and tumor incident locations versus the targeting accuracy, which offers important clues in defining exclusion criteria in our future sonobiopsy clinical studies. In conclusion, the results in various experiment conditions showing this presentation demonstrated that our neural navigation guided sonobiopsy device can target and create BV opening with acceptable accuracy 
and is ready to be used in future sonobiopsy clinical trials. I would like to acknowledge all the funding sources supporting the study and thank you all for your time.